Disney Bambi. Disney Bambi. One day, as the sun rose, there was great excitement in the forest. A new prince had been born. It was a little fawn, son of the great stag, prince of the forest. All the animals and birds came to welcome him. The fawn opened his eyes to see happy faces all all round him. From a moment, the fowl looked frightened. Then he got to his feet. At first, his thin legs trembled, but soon he stood firm and strong. A young rabbit asked, What is his name? Bambi, asked the mother deer. That's nice, said the rabbit. My name is Thumper, and he hopped away to spread the news about the new fowl. It was summertime, and the forest was beautiful with flowers all around. Bambi loved to walk with his mother along the leafy paths, finding new surprises every day. Once he saw some opossums hanging upside down. Another time, he found a mother quail with her nine babies beside her. Sometimes, Bambi played with Thumper the rabbit, who showed him all sorts of new things and told him their names. Those are birds said the thumper, and Bambi said, Birds, after him. It was his very first word. Then a butterfly came along. Bird, said Bambi. No, that's a butterfly, said the thumper, laughing. Bambi bent his head to smell some flowers. Butterfly, he said, trying out his new word. No, said the thumper. They are flowers. Suddenly, a small black pointed nose poked up out of the flowers. Flower? asked Bambi. No, no, laughed. Thumper, that's a skank. He can call me flower if he wants to, said the skank. Bambi had found another new friend. One morning, Bambi's mother took him to the meadow. He had never been there before, and it was a wonderful place to play. He was racing up and down when he saw another little fawn nearby. Bambi was so surprised that he bounded away up the meadow, pretending not to see her. Don't be shy, Bambi, called his mother. Come and meet Fallein. She's your cousin. Soon, Fallein and Bambi were playing happily together, chasing each other around the little hilly rocks. Then came the sound of running feet and the stags burst out of the woods. They were calling, Danger! Man! as they ran. All the birds and animals hurried into the trees. And in a moment, the meadow was empty. Bambi and his mother hid in their thicket and trembled with fear as they heard shouts and loud roaring noises quite close by. That was man, Bambi, explained his mother. He carries a long stick called a gun that can kill you. He means... Danger to all of us here in the forest. Summer passed and the weather grew colder. Bambi woke up one day shivering to find that the world had turned white in the night. Every blade of grass was covered 
with a white coat, and so was every tree and every bush. His mother was watching him. That's not Bambi, she said. Bambi put one hoof out onto the snow to feel the cold crispness. Then he walked forward carefully, lifting his feet high. It was a lovely winter's day, and the sun sparkled on the snow. In the distance, Bambi was surprised to see Thumper playing on top of the pond. He hurried towards his friend and skidded on the smooth ice. Down he fell. Thumper just laughed at him. Soon Bambi could walk without slipping, and he and Thumper had a fine time playing in the snow. Once they heard a faint snore from a snowbank, they looked down a deep barrel and saw the little skunk there, fast asleep. Let's wake him up, said Bambi. No, said Stumper. Skunks always sleep right through the winter. It's called hibernating. Winter was fun at the first, but as time went on, there was less and less food. All the animals grew hungry. Sometimes there was nothing at all for Bambi and his mother to eat, except the bark from trees. Then, one day, there was a change in the air. It was a little warmer, and Bambi's mother found some new green grass under the snow. Bambi and his mother were eating the grass hungrily, when suddenly there was a loud bang, not far off. Run, Bambi, said his mother. Run as quickly as you can, and don't look back. Bambi ran and ran, his mother just behind him. Then there was another loud, long, loud bang. Bambi ran faster than ever. When at last he stopped, his slides heaving, his mother was nowhere to be seen. The forest was quiet. Bambi looked all around, then began to call wildly for his mother. In a moment, the great prince of the forest came to his side. Your mother can never be with you again, he said quietly. Now you must be brave and learn to walk alone. The long winter was over. There were flowers here and there, and the trees were tipped with leaves and buds. The spring sun shone on Bambi's coat as he walked along the forest path. He carried his head proudly, for now he had a fine set of antlers. Suddenly he found another deer beside him, a beautiful doe. Do you remember me, Bambi? she asked. I'm for lying. And after a moment, they went on down the path together. Not, not so fast, said a deep voice. A lion is going with me. It was a deer called Rono. His antlers lower his antlers lowered ready for battle. Bambi had never fought before, but he wasted no time. He charged straight at Rono and they met with a crash. They fought fiercely, but at last one of Rono's antlers broke. Then Bambi managed to wound Rono in the shoulder. Beaten at last, Rono limped up into the forest. Falain came back to Bambi's side and they walked away through the trees to the meadow to start their life together. Summer passed happily for Bambi and Falain. Then, one autumn day, Bambi and the great stag heard dogs barking and smelled the man. Yes, the great stag said, 
It is man, with tents and campfires. We will have to go to the hills. As Bambi called for line, the dogs came close. He lowered his antlers and held them up, calling, Hurry, for line! But when he turned to run, there was a loud bang. A dreadful pain went through Bambi, but it didn't stop him. The great stag ran at his side, saying, The forest is on fire from the campfires. We must make for the river. They rushed through the fire, through the cool water of the river, and onto the far shore. Many other animals had already reached safety there. Falai was there too, and she gently licked Bambi's wounded shoulder. There was a long cold winter to live through in the